So this is a project I'm working on for my wife. Now, I try to tell her that if a man says, especially a husband, they say they're going to get something done, they'll get it done. There's no need to remind them every few months. But that's her. This is a tchotchke she picked up. She's a beach decorating fanatic. And it was set up to hang like this. She wanted to hang it like this. Or that, or something like that. Figured out. Anyway, because one of these oars is mounted on the other, it will wobble against the wall when you hang it up. So what I decided to do to fix that is uh, glue these I would glue on these little pieces of dowel. Pretty good sized piece of dowel work. Just clamped and glued them on there because they don't have to be industrial or nothing because they're just going to hang on the wall. Now, what we're going to do is use some of this industrial strength Velcro on it to make sure that it stays on the wall. The way it works is it's Velcro and it's super sticky on two sides. So no nails or anything crazy like that. I, I took off the the two hangers that were were on this thing right here. I think you can still see the screws here from it for it to hang. And we're just gonna use this Velcro Sticky on both sides, just stick it up on the wall, and if you got kind of a good idea of where it's going to go, you just hover it above and then push it on. And you can still take it down to dust or whatever, even adjust it a little bit if you use Velcro. So I'm going to put Velcro along here, and then I'm going to put a little bit of Velcro on each of these. Uh, little dowels to keep it from wobbling against the wall if somebody happens to touch it or walk by it or whatever. Should work pretty good. Anyway, let me uh, pull this out of here. You can get this at uh, Walmart and I will um, see if they have it on their site and if they do I'll put a link and I'll also later on if we get this up we'll hang it on the wall and see how it looks. This is how it comes. Each piece is separate. Ooh, this is really wide. I don't know if that's going to work. So, I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, we're going to cut uh, strips of it. And what I like to do is go ahead and put the two Velcro pieces together, cut my strips, sections, whatever that I'm going to use and then simply stick it on the piece and stick it on the wall. Be right back after we have this all set up. Okay so here's the pieces of Velcro stuck on one side of this now and all I have to do is just peel and stick it to the wall. Now I could use double-sided tape but I do want to be able to pull these apart, you know, pull these down and, you know, patch them clean, whatever. You guys have seen my videos, you know I'm a little bit out of control with some of this stuff and I, I don't like to make stuff permanent. So this way it's not quite so permanent. I can probably peel it right off the wall or have very little repair to do. This is the, the way they're sticky on both sides and it's it's Velcro. And you see I stuck the two pieces together and, and cut it to the lengths and shapes or whatever that I wanted. This doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be behind this thing on the wall. So I'll know about it. This plastic peels off. It's kind of hard to get a nail up under the corner. And this stuff isn't sticky, but it does get a little bit of uh, um, static built up in it when you peel it off for whatever reason. So it doesn't, it, it will 
kind of interfere with your work that you're doing if it gets stuck to your hand or your clothes or whatever trying to get the trash off of it so there it is and now it's ready to go on the wall we'll peel all the uh the pieces off the back velcro now and stick it up on the wall and give you a peek at it in a minute stick around and here is the finished montage that i did for my wife and you can see our oars hanging here take a closer look see the job of that little dowel piece here and it it stuck really well to the wall you can put some good force on it it's not going to go anywhere and it it doesn't rock another job done that'll wrap up another video and thank you very much for watching i really appreciate all of our new subscribers it's not a lofty goal but we passed 50 subscribers this weekend pretty quickly Thank you very much for your input as well. If you'd like to leave a comment, please feel free. If you have any questions, we're glad to answer them. Like and subscribe to my videos and press the bell icon below so that you can get notified when I put up new content. Thank you all very much for watching.